So Jesus didn't eat. Jesus also desired to experience the blessing of the Father and avoid the cross. Well, that's not bad either. It's good to to want the blessing of the Father. And when you are a righteous person, it's not a bad desire to to want to avoid the cross. And so Jesus said, please let this cup pass from me. We can do it another way. I'd rather not do this. And yet, given the circumstances, given his calling, he says, yet not my will, but your will be done. And he submits to the Father's will. He is so righteous. Jesus never sinned. He couldn't sin. He was unable to. And because he didn't sin, he didn't need to pay for his own sins. Because he didn't owe any debt. We're talking about all this debt and how we all owe a debt, but Jesus didn't owe a debt. And so death could not claim him. He was free from death's power. You see, if you or I tried to pay somebody else's debt, we'd have to take care of our own debt first. The only way to do that would be to die. But then you'd be dead. And so that's a problem. You couldn't do anything further. So death cannot be conquered by us or anybody like us. Death needs to be conquered by a human without sin who could conquer death and move through death, through resurrection to life, because death cannot keep that person. So the good news is that God is merciful, isn't he? Though God's justice might be, must be satisfied, he doesn't take pleasure in the death of the wicked. And so yes, you cannot pay your debt, but just like the king in the parable that Jesus uh, told forgave the servant who owed that $6 billion. So God forgives you in Christ. When you look to Christ, Christ who is the only sinless human being. Hebrews 7 says he's holy, innocent, unstained, completely separate from sin. He satisfied God's justice when he stood in our place, brothers and sisters. 